Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alec Reed. This is my channel, Alec Reads, and today we are reading chapter 120 of Marriage, a Heartstopper fan fiction on Wattpad by Heartstopper underscore fan22. Today's chapter is called You're Beautiful. But before we get started, I do want to say like, subscribe, comment down below, whether it's just saying hello or whether it's leaving recommendations. Um, I also want to say that I also have two, that's right, you heard it, two um, Instagrams. Um, before I only had one, but um, now I've decided that I want to um, kind of put myself out there a little more, um, so there is a second, um, Instagram page, there is Alec Reads 123, and then there is, um, Ed's with a stick, which, um, sounds weird, but there is reason for the name, so be prepared for that, um, it talks about mental health, talks about a lot of different things, um, so go check that out if you want to see that, um, at some point, um, but, yeah, let's jump right into the video. Chapter 120. You're beautiful. Nick's perspective. I gently got out of the bath and lifted Charlie out as well. He is still sound asleep, even if I take him out of the bath. I kiss his perfect face before slightly tapping his cheeks to hopefully wake him up. He blinked his eyes, open and groaned. Nick. I kissed him again. I know you're exhausted, but try to stand up for a minute so I can dry you off. Then we can go to bed. I put him down, and he stood up, holding my shoulder for support. Once he was dried off, I picked him up by the wrist and pulled him off the bathroom floor, then grabbed him by his waist and put him on the bathroom counter. I grabbed his toothbrush, put a small amount of toothpaste on it. Babe, open your mouth for a second. He did as I asked, and I started to brush his teeth quickly. I didn't want to have to wake up and kiss his alcohol-tasting mouth. I've already kissed him tonight, and it didn't taste good. I'm not interested in round two. He spits out the toothpaste and takes a sip of water before saying, Can we go to bed now? I grab his hand, helping him off the counter. Yes, we can go to bed now. The next morning. Charlie's perspective. My ears were ringing. I could hear my heartbeat pounding against my chest, increasing the pain of my already unbearable headache. I slightly shift my head and wince in the pain of my head was throbbing. You okay, darling? I hear Nick say. His voice sounds groggy, like he didn't get much sleep last night. I'm not entirely sure what happened last night, or when we got home, or what time we got to bed, or why we left Darcy's party. I just remember leaving early. Everything feels fuzzy, unclear, like looking through glass when you don't, like looking through glasses when you don't need them. I opened my eyes, squinting a bit, trying to adjust to the bright light that was the shining, unbearable bright sun coming through our window. Once my eyes adjusted, I looked around. I feel myself nestled into Nick's arm and his hand resting against my side, holding me against him. I can't stop wondering why we left early yesterday. Instead. He looked down at me and frowned, and before he could explain, I knew it wasn't good. Judging by his facial expression, this always happens when I drink. I have too much and then humiliate myself. How bad? I question. He tries to hide his smile, but can't, and that's worse than the frown. What did I do? He pulls me in tight, squishing me, except it feels safe and comforting rather than painful. You were ranting about how much you love me, then started saying mean stuff about yourself, and I know the truth comes out when you're drunk. And I want to talk about it because I didn't like the things you were saying. Fuck. Now I've worried Nick, and frankly, I don't even know what I said to worry him, plus all my friends saw that whole scene. Okay. What did I say to make you worried? He sat down and pulled me up to grabbing me by my waist, pulling me over into his lap. I felt flustered after. It's 
the way he touches me that makes me feel this way. He's so soft and gentle. It gets me every time. Before we discuss that, I want to tell you how beautiful you are. And I know you may not believe me when I say that, but you might if you just listen to why. I nodded my head and he continued, Chow, your eyes are the prettiest shades of blue. Your hair is always messy and that's what I like most about it. You have an absolutely perfect nose. You have the best fashion sense. You actually put mine to shame. You're the perfect height, just short enough to be comfortable, wrapped up in my arms, and for me to give you forehead kisses. I've always been attracted to you and always will, but your personality is the shining star, Charlie. You light up the goddamn room when you walk into it. You have the manners of a prince and you always forgive people no matter what they have done to hurt you. Your heart is pure gold. You make me so happy like no other. I can't imagine a world without your hugs, or your kisses, your cuddles. You've supported me since day one. I want... I wasn't ready to be out. I was scared, but... You made me want to be out. Just to show off you to the world. You took a chance on me when no one else would have. Charlie, you're the best thing that has ever happened to me and that's why I think you're beautiful. You're beautiful in every way possible, even when you're drunk and have thrown up all over yourself and when you're falling asleep as I'm brushing your teeth so I can kiss you in the morning. Nick's eyes were watering and I didn't even realize mine were too. I couldn't say anything. He took my ability to speak away. I was speechless. I let myself fall forwards into his arms, holding him so tight, probably squeezing the life out of him, but he didn't seem to mind. Nick. I say shyly. Mm Mm-hmm. He mumbled, his face buried into my shoulder. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me, too. We both pulled out from the hug, and he gave me a kiss. And it's that familiar electric feeling I can't seem to get enough of. And I cover my face with my hands, hiding my face. That is how, now red as a tomato, I'm sure. I laugh at myself and how stupid I must have looked yesterday. How bad was it really? He hesitates, then gives in to his laughter. Pretty bad. I hit him playfully. You're supposed to lie and make me feel better. He smirked. Well, where's the fun in that? And seeing you all embarrassed is cute. I hit him again. Shut up, this is your fault. Really, how so? He asked dramatically. You shouldn't have let me drink. It's your job to keep me from embarrassing myself. He laughed. (laughs) And risk getting a lecture by you on how I'm not your parent? No, thank you. I press my palm against my forehead. I really am impossible, aren't I? I flop down on the bed. You really are, he says before leaning over me and kissing me again. He flops down beside me and I turn my head to face him. So we're looking directly at each other. Was I as bad as our first party together? His face goes red and covers it with his hands like I previously did. Oh god, don't remind me of how that went. And no, definitely not. That was horrifying. Even thinking back to it, I'm embarrassed. I move his hands gently away from his face and place my hands on his cheeks. I think it's cute. He dramatically responds, I'm happy you think that. And that is the end of today's episode. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Um... Like, subscribe, comment down below, whether it's just saying that you enjoyed today's episode, or whether it's saying hello, or whether it's giving recommendations. I will answer them all. All of them. Just so you know. Um, Also, feel free to message me on Instagram. Um, I'm trying to figure out Snapchat. I'm old. (laughs) Not old, old, but... I don't know. I didn't... Whatever. Anyway, 
Um, I don't know a lot about technology, so I'm trying my best here. Um, also, I have some new stories coming up. Um, I have, I can almost see it coming up. I have the truth, and then I also have loving life from afar, which should be coming up soon. Um, so I hope that you guys are, um, excited for those. They are, um, books that you can't really find anywhere else, so you get a little sneak peek. Um, but anyway, um, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody in between, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, friends.